I just want to say thank you to the German family that said to me, we have no voice. We've tried everything. We've written to politicians. We've tried to speak to our child. And there's nothing that we seem to be able to do to get the authorities to help us rescue our son, which in a way has been kidnapped by this organization. My answer to this family was, if I take part or take part in an organization um, to look at the dangers of the LaRouche organization, I will be said, well, you're just trying to accuse them of the murder of your son. And this is what was written to me in a letter by the Wiesbaden prosecutor when I asked to meet with her to answer many unexplained questions surrounding my son's death. And when I objected to the entire file that represented five years of hard work by me and by my experts into trying to find out what happened to my son, when she handed over all the uh, confidential reports, witness statements, expert reports, everything that I had done for five years, which was merely trying to open the investigations, not saying what had happened, because I am not in a position to say what happened of who killed my son. There has not been a full investigation. Her answer was, I'm not worried. Those people who were with your son, you are, try you are trying to say that they are anti-Semitic and unconstitutional, and I'm not worried about that. So to go back to the thing I said in the beginning, I thank this German family for asking me, because as I've sat here today and I've listened to the evidence, the evidence of a highly dangerous organization a destructive, anti-Semitic organization putting forward conspiracy theories which have a foundation in anti-Semitism, I think to myself, the prosecutor in Wiesbaden, I send her a message and I hope that you all write to her and say to her, she must meet with me because the system has failed us. I have done everything in two countries. I have gone through all the courts and I do not know why my son died. But what I do know, and we've published it in this uh, report, because I found the evidence in my son's bags, and I found by listening to the lectures that he was subjected to, that my son, who was actually um, very close to um, a, Ju a, a Jewish youth movement, that went regularly to, to Israel and went all over Germany and studied the past. And he, he was very committed to his Jewish roots without being exclusive. He was also very open and a questioning person. So he was the last person in the world that could have, would have been very, very upset to have got caught up when he innocently came to what he thought was a peace conference to Germany, the place where his grandfather was born, Berlin, and found that he was told that basically um, there's these Jewish bankers and this whole conspiracy about Jews, and that would have been a most terribly shocking thing to have learnt in, in Germany, to have come to Germany to learn that. And so... I, I really do think that I need help. I need help from the German people. I need help from the politicians. And it's not just my voice that's speaking. I'm also speaking for all the other families in Germany and in France and all around the world that through our website, www.justiceforjeremiah, have written to me and told me that they cannot speak because if they speak, they lose contact with their children, and that thread of contact has to be kept. They are voiceless. 
and expect me to speak for them. But I can't do anything without the help of the German people. And so I come again to the good people of Germany to stand with us, British, French, American. We've got Molly from America. We've got her son who was all his life in the cult. So we actually are call upon the German people to help, help us to take what action is necessary, politically, socially, and in every way, because I don't think I can do any more than I've done. And I can see from everything that you've done by coming to this forum and helping and making your uh, um, knowledge um, accessible, that is the way forward. And thank you. And I hope that some of you who, who are interested in our report on the anti-Semitism will have a look at those researches that we actually released for the first time today.